Whoopsie. Come here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, she made it! She made it! Yeah. Oh. Oh. I am so happy to be recording outside in the sunshine. You just don't even know, but spring is here! And I am so excited about it. I am so excited to be outside. I am so excited to have a tank top and shorts on and not be cold. I don't need a jacket. This is fantastic and it's been a long time coming. Anyway, hi guys. My name is Simone for anyone who is new. In today's video, we're going to be working outside, cleaning up our outside space. So we have quite a bit to do. We need to pick up a few leaves that are still around the front pathway area. We need to cut back some of the dead shrubs so that the new growth can come in we just need to clean up and get ready for the springtime so we can spend lots of time outside which is definitely my plan so let me show you around show you kind of what we're working with and what we plan to do for today so let's go okay so i know first and foremost we need to work on these leaves like if you can see all these leaves right here that are just in the rock we have weeds that are also growing in everything <laughs> she wanted to say hi <laughs> but yeah we have these weeds that are growing also all of this needs like a whole total revamp because it is just not cute you see this just not cute but we're not doing that today we're not going to tackle a whole remodel today we're just going to clean it up and make it look nice here's a hydrangea plant we need to get the leaves out of here and i need to learn how to prune it I think is what it's called. More hydrangeas where the leaves need to come out. More leaf work. Just more leaves. But also down here. Oh, oh my gosh. Did I walk through a spider web? Mm -mm. Okay. Also down here, we have this tree that fell. We had a storm the other day and that was one of our casualties. So we just got to clean it up and we'll use it for firewood. But look at the grass guys. Things are, things are turning for the better. I love this time of year where it's not too hot and you can see everything starting to turn green again. The leaves on the trees, not so much. Maybe give it a, give it a few more weeks, but when the trees get all fully green out here, it looks so good. I just really love it. Oh, all right. She really wanted to do that because she came running from right there all the way to that tree just to hop on it. Let's see if the turtles are out first because we know the spring is here when the turtles are on their stick. Oh! know if that was a bug or the cat but you guys need to stop oh my gosh <gasps> yes we have turtles i don't know if i can get close enough let me see let me see if i can just zoom in for you guys they're over there there's three of them Definitely turtle season, and we love that. So I got my bucket out to put all of the leaves in, thinking that I was going to pick them up by hand. But before I could even get started, I saw a mound of ants. And my solution was just to pour some bug spray on them. 
which is definitely not a great solution, but I just used it and I had it right next to me. So I decided to use it and it did kill him, but there probably are still some lingering in there. But I did move on to picking up the leaves and I quickly found that there are so many leaves packed into these garden beds that, you know, have just been there throughout the whole winter. And if I continued to pick them up by hand like this, I would be here for weeks. So I thought about it a little bit more and I decided to get the blower that we have and blow the leaves out of here, which worked so much better. So once I had a big chunk of the leaves blown out of the way, I started to work on the weeds. And let me tell you, these weeds are out of control. I didn't even get half of them throughout the garden beds. As you can see in the back, that is a mess. But I just worked on one part of the front yard pathway. So I focused on this area and just picked up the weeds one by one. And we'll just have to tackle the rest of the yard at a later date. But we definitely did still make a lot of good progress on the section that we did tackle. So these are all the leaves that I have collected so far today, literally just from this area, these areas, but I did manage to clean it up a little bit. I mean, this is not, you know, anything revolutionary, but I did get a lot of the little weeds that were there before and all of the leaves. I probably need to go through one more time just to blow everything out, but yeah, I got most of the weeds that I could just by hand, but we still need to go through and properly do like a weed treatment. That over there is a whole different story. I haven't even touched that at all yet. So just this part so far, I still need to prune my hydrangeas and get more leaves out of them because they are packed with leaves, but my blower wasn't really getting them out and I don't want to break the stem. So we'll have to tackle that still, but making good progress up front. So now I'm gonna take all these leaves and just blow them into the woods. And that's where they'll live. Good morning everyone it is day two um we made a lot of good progress yesterday but we're not done so today's priorities i want to prune my hydrangeas just to get that out of the way the hydrangeas man they are really i just didn't realize how many leaves are in them even with the blower i wasn't able to get all of them out and then I actually stopped using the blower because some of the branches started breaking and I heard that is not good for your hydrangea plant. So we're just going to have to figure something else out. I'm just going to have to go in by hand. It really takes some time to get all those leaves out. I think a woodpecker made a hole in the roof line and I just saw a bird go in there with a worm. So I think they've made a nest in there. So that's something we'll have to take care of. There's always something. I mean, just random things that always happen ever since we've gotten a house. And I heard that's how it is. There's just always something that you'll need to be doing. And look, we have seen that firsthand. So it's a lot, but I guess these are the joys of home ownership. I started to take the leaves out cluster by cluster and of course Shadow had to jump in the box but anyway I took them out cluster by cluster and this was a tedious process but I think I made good progress and once I did you know clear out a lot of the leaves I started to then prune the hydrangea and I watched a video by Garden Answer on how to prune hydrangeas and it was pretty straightforward so I hope I did it right but if 
they don't come back this year then i know i did it wrong and we'll just have to replant some but we do have four hydrangea plants so i went through and did this process for all four of them it's another day and gerald is back now so we're gonna try to tackle this tree that i showed you guys this cat she she did her tree climbing era i don't know she just loved climbing the trees Oh my gosh, and another one. Go Marvel. So yeah, anyway, we are going to tackle a tree over there. So we're loading up our supplies, which includes the Kubota and the chainsaw. So let's go. again so it's just a it's kind of skinny just a skinny little tree that fell from the swamp area so we're just going to make logs into it and it's actually supposed to rain today so we have to hurry up so let's just cut it up So it's good firewood, so we're going to take it up over to the firewood piles and I think start a dry firewood log pile. I don't have any dry logs yet, so this will be the start of that. What? A mini frog! To ah! this. Come here! I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, it's going to be a quick one, guys. You finna kill him. See ya. He finna jump on me. Throwing the twigs in the burn pile. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Not up the hill. Once we get on level ground. <laughs> the girl, push the gas. Come down through here. What? Come down through here. to this other firewood from around. Girl, this cat just don't stop. Obviously, we're gonna keep adding to it the more logs and everything we cut down. There's plenty to cut down around here. What else? The tree. Whoops, she done a climb. 
get chased. We got Shadow down here. Yeah, you can't go get her, can you? So you can't climb a tree, Shadow? <laughs> can you see her up there? Uh huh. Well, she was up there doing all that cleanup in the front yard. I'll show you what I was down here doing, slaving away at. We planted 400 trees, so obviously we need 400 holes. So we went through and dug about 440 holes up along this thing, which obviously took forever and was a workout in and of itself. So that took quite a few hours. And then the next day, is when we planted all the trees. So we planted all 440, 460, whatever them trees were. We planted all those in one day. That mug was no joke. But they were bare root trees, so it was a little bit easier to stick them in. It's real hard to see since they're, you know, they're small, twiggy looking right now, but they go all the way down and around that corner and then there a little bit. That's our neighbor's property there. And our property is even longer than his. So ours comes around, ah, around this corner here. And it goes all the way down. You can see these trees right here. It turns again and comes back to like way over there. The reason we're planting these trees, uh, I can't remember what they're called. I'll tag the name of them somewhere up here is basically they'll grow really tall apparently they grow like three four feet a year so they'll make a real nice hedge they're supposed to get up to about anywhere from like 35 to 50 feet tall maybe even 60 feet so we have a bunch of them planted and they're in two rows so as they grow up it'll make a real nice tree hedge and the reason we're doing that is because you can see the houses here there's a property right in between those houses and ours here you can kind of see that green through there, all that land. That just got bought out by a builder and they plan on developing all the land all the way, way back down past my neighbor's house. And since he's a lot closer to that land than we are, the houses are gonna be like right up in his face. And he was not happy about that. And I don't even like looking through and seeing the houses that aren't next to us. So, to have the houses even you know that much closer when this builder starts going really not going like that so we both went in got all these trees threw them down be a real nice tree hedge and block out all these folks and the trees are real cool too like they were super cheap i think probably because we bought so many but they only came out to a dollar 35 a piece so that's pretty good weren't expensive at all but that labor Never again, so I hope these mugs last. That's what I was doing. I didn't get any film of it. We had a system going, we were too locked in. She was locked into what she was doing and she was filming, so no, I couldn't really take a break to set up a camera and try to film and stuff. It was probably about five of us, four or five man crew. We had a yep. good system growing and we were rolling, so I, I couldn't stop and they run finished, up and grab my camera. They finished in two days, so. Oh, the first day was drilling holes second day was doing all the plans. So all we did is we had a bobcat and there's a big auger attachment, probably about, I think it was a 16 inch, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a 16 inch drill, 16 inch wide, probably about two foot deep. And that was just attached to the bobcat. So we'll just come through, drill a hole down, come up. And obviously the dirt that would get caught in between the spaces between the screws, or whatever. Um, I had to take a shovel and knock the dirt off and then we we'll move to the next one. Boom, 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 boom. Well, easy, but after doing it, you know, 400 times, it starts getting real tiring. Arm, shoulder, and all that cramping. So that's how we did that. And then the next day, came through and started planting. Stick the tree in, have bobcats again. So somebody would be in the bobcat and then somebody would be holding the tree up. The person in the bobcat would just take the bucket of what they had and push the side of the dirt. And it'll just fall back into the hole. And I'll just hold the tree there and pack it in as he was pushing that in. And let me tell you, these dudes with these bobcats, like they've been doing it their whole lives. They even moved them bobcats around and was whipping them in these tight spaces like it was an extension of their fingers. It was nuts watching these dudes move that thing around. But yeah, we were rolling on them, but 400 some trees are still gonna take a minute.
whole video is of marbles climbing trees. It's your turn, Shadow. Come on. Right here. Right here. Let's do it. Good job. Yeah. These cat kids. Oh my gosh. If you enjoyed today's video, we did accomplish a lot um, in the past few days. Simone got some good yard work done up around the house. Obviously, I got some yard work done away from the house. It was only in two spots, but it was a ton of work. So it was a, an eventful few days, to say the least. A lot of work, a lot of work. Still a lot of work left to do. Simone's going to be working on the patio, getting some furniture, decor, and all that fun stuff that y'all like so much. She's going to be getting that together. I'll be working on this garden actually a ton this coming week. So it's time to plant the seeds. Yeah, we'll give you a little update, show y'all a little bit of that too. That's it. That's what we had going on. That's what we got coming up. Yeah. Like this video if you like this video. Comment stuff you want to see, questions you may have, yes. um, things you may want us to do, anything, whatever. We appreciate y'all. Got plenty more stuff coming. Stay tuned. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Bye.